Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on Python programming. I am Deepak Kunyal and if you have seen my previous tutorials, you might be knowing that we discussed about list and uh, overview of Python data structures. So the second data structure in the list is tuples. Tuples are also made of several items, just like a list, but it cannot be modified in any way. So if you remember a list, list can be defined like this, like 1, 2 and 3. And if you want to see what is inside list, you need to type list1 or you can also write it like print list1 and then see the output or content of the list. Tuples are also same and you can define the tuples like this t equal to then you can write 1, 2, 3. t is user defined so you can write tuple1 or anything you like but I am writing t here but you don't need to use this bracket square bracket you have to use simple bracket here and this will become a tuple you can also check the type of list1 and you can see it is list then you can check the type of t and it will be tuple right so this is second data structure in the list tuples are highly used internally in many of the systems we depend on like databases and tuples hold the data in in the order we supply it and we can access the elements inside a tuple with an index like we used to do in list. So you have to use it like this t0 or t1 whatever you want to do. Then you can use those functions also that we used in list. So you have to type len and inside that pass t it will calculate the length of tuple and so you. Other than that as we are talking about its most important property immutability as we have seen in list that you can change any element of the list and see the change element it is 10 here but try to do same thing with tuple and you will see the difference here you can see tuple object does not support item assignment that means it's immutable like strings clear and it ensures that the data is not altered so so anytime when we do not want our data to be modified we can use tuples clear now see the multiple ways we can define our tuple so we start with an empty tuple we can write empty tuple like this it's a variable so you can write anything here it doesn't matter and then you have to write this bracket here and it will become an empty tuple try to print this out and you will see it right you can check the type of this and its tuple you can also assign multiple elements to this tuple so what you have to do you have to write it like this now it is not empty tuple clear earlier it was empty but now we have assigned multiple elements to it now it has some elements you can also create a tuple with one element only for that you might be tempted to think that now this is one element tuple but if you are thinking like this you are wrong at this place and you can see when we are checking type of this one element this is int and not tuple so there is one trick here whenever you are trying to create tuple with one element you have to put comma after that otherwise it will think that it is just a simple bracket and you are putting a element here so always put comma here and then you can check the type of this thing and it will be tuple clear there is another way to write tuples so now I am creating another tuple with name t1 and for that suppose I am putting strings here and one is python and another is c++ so you, you don't need uh, this bracket here clear you can leave the bracket and it will be automatically a tuple so check the type of t1 and see it's tuple this thing here is called tuple packing or you can write it in comments here so that you can remember this thing and when there is tuple packing there is another thing that is called tuple unpacking but for tuple unpacking you need these many variables so if you want to unpack this t1 you need two variables here a b and then t1 on the right side now you can print a and you can print b clear try to do it like this a b and then c and t1 on right side 
and you can see not enough values to unpack expecting 3 but it got 2 so here it is expecting 3 but it got 2 values here clear so this way you can't unpack the values you need that many variables as you have values clear and let us try to do it like this t2 equal to t1 so will this unpack the values or not so here you can see so it is just assigning t1 into t2 so now t1 is python c++ and t2 is also python c++ can you try to change first index of tuple and you can understand that this is not possible because tuple does not support item assignment or it's immutable now do one thing create two more tuples one two three and then t4 four five six now you can add two tuples like t3 and t4 and assign it to another tuple t5 now what should be the value of t5 see it here this is new tuple and here we are concatenating two tuples clear you can also nest two tuples like this so i am writing t3 and t4 inside this that means now there will be a new tuple t6 and it will contain two tuples one is t3 and another is t4 so let's try to run this and here you can see t6 is these two tuples one and two so if you check the length of t6 it should be two clear then try to get zeroth value of t6 and it will be one two three and if you try to get first value of this it will be four five six clear you can also do repetition in tuples as you do in list so now i am creating one new variable t7 and then i have one value python and then i need comma here so that it is treated as tuple and then if you do multiplied by five so what should be t7 try to guess write your answer and then see the answer here so there are five python clear so this way you can repeat the tuple value clear so we have t5 here now you can perform slicing as you do in list or strings so what i am going to do here t5 1 colon and then nothing that means we are starting with 2 till end so it should be 2 3 4 5 6 now try to guess this answer what should be the output of this try to guess and then see the answer and this is reversed just like a string reversal if you remember our past tutorials you might be knowing that we discussed this thing in palindrome so this way you can create the tuple and access elements out of it now what if you want to delete something so you can delete it like this suppose i have temp tuple and i have one two three or one two three four inside this i have to use del and then temp and it will delete this whole temp tuple now try to check temp and it is saying name temp is not defined that means now this whole tuple is deleted clear then there are few other things like converting a list to tuple so how can we do that suppose we have a list list 1 10 to 3 then you can convert it to tuple using a function tuple and you have to pass list 1 inside that and here you go it is converted to tuple although list 1 is not converted to tuple it is list only but its return value from this function is tuple clear so if you want to assign this to something else you can assign and get a new tuple like this so i am getting temp here try to run this and here is the tuple you can also get it like this tuple and then pass some list here so this is list one and it's 10 to 3 you can also do it like this if you pass some string it will be converted to tuple and here you can see there are six values in this you can also check the length of this tuple in place of print we have to write len and this is six because we have six values clear even if you pass some dictionary inside this keys of dictionary will be treated like tuple values and we are going to read dictionary in next tutorial but as of now you can understand we have key value pairs like one key and then there is a name python and then we have second key and it has value c plus plus 
so now we have d this is dictionary and try to get a tuple out of it so we have to pass d here and it will create tuple with two values that is one and two and why it is so because these two are keys clear so let us run this and here are two values of tuples there are some functions in tuple so how you are going to use those functions so we have a temp tuple now try to apply max function here and it will give us maximum value similarly you can apply min to this temp and it will give us minimum value sometime you can have strings inside these tuples so suppose i have temp1 so what does this max function do it find out the maximum so here in this case when we have integer values it is uh, not that much difficult but when we have string values it will check for the sky values and for the first value which is different sky value is checked for that so here in these case we have p and p so it will check for the larger value and here you have to check which has higher sky value so if you check this function temp1 so you can see here a small p is coming as output because this has higher sky value right i hope you remember the sky values of a b c d so when we start with that you can understand let me write it in comment so a has value 65 and when we are talking about a it has a sky value 97 clear so if you don't know or don't remember the sky values you can search for it in google and you will find out this thing similarly for the main thing you have to write temp1 and now you'll see the python here so i hope you have uh, understood this thing now one important thing we are going to discuss here why we use tuple instead of list so the first point is program execution is faster when we are uh, using tuple because of its immutability so as tuple is immutable it's also faster clear second thing if values in the list or tuple are meant to remain constant for the whole life of program so we need to use tuple because in that case we are sure that values will be right protected or will not be modified ever clear third thing we generally use tuple for heterogeneous or we can say different kind of data so this is also a good point and when we talk about list they are generally used for homogeneous data or similar kind of data another thing this is also important tuples contain immutable values right we have already seen that thing and these immutable elements can be used as a key for the dictionary but if you try to use list as keys of the dictionary that's not possible because we need keys which cannot be changed or we need immutable things here clear so either it can be integer or string or tuples so i think this is enough discussion for the tuples if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can write in the comments and i will surely try to respond back so see in the next video with concept of dictionary and till then thank you so much